is Seth Vanek. I also live and work here at Milk Toast uh, with Gerard Barreto. Um, this is our home studio. And uh, Gerard is trained as a recording engineer. And, and I come to the process more uh, as a musician. <laughs> So one of the things that we try to do to get a unique sound on our recordings is use uh, different instruments. I've tried to teach myself to play as many different kinds of instruments um, as I can, as well as collecting instruments whenever possible, whenever I can afford it, because you never know what will add that extra touch uh, to a recording. Um, so I thought I would show you some of the uh, ones that I like to use when I need a, a special effect on a recording. The first one here is um, courtesy of Kent Lambert of the band Roommate, who we've been mentioning, um, a good friend, client, collaborator, and inspirational guy all around. Um, this is a custom-made instrument. It's the only kind uh, uh, in the world, the only one of its kind, I should say. Uh, I, I think um, that it's made from a camera case. It sound, sounds like con convincing to me. And as you can see, it's just you know several springs and some guitar strings stretched over the top here, tuning pegs that you can actually tune the strings and um, if you open it up for a little behind the scenes look you see that you just have some simple contact mics on the inside um, just to the um, one connected there and there and these outputs here just quarter inch outputs but what you end up with is a really creepy sounding effect it's uh, sort of like banging on your amp if your amp has a spring reverb you'll get that when you shut shut off your amp sometimes you get that and so we have a variety of tensions, and you can scrape or hit, um, get tones if you need them, um, strum, a lot of different possibilities, but you always can rest assured that nothing else will sound like it. Kent did a score uh, to the silent movie Vampire um, using um, this and a table banjo that he has, a, a, another rare instrument. And I don't know if you can find a recording of that, but you should go to kentlambert.org and he can tell you about the maker of the brownie and it has a lot more information about this instrument. So here's, um, you know, some examples of the brownie. Like right here, this could be a motif for a song, I think, right there. I like the scraping sound as well. <laughs> 